We wish to state that the ANC party presence in Nakuru County is more vibrant than never before. We are not only a party by, by name, but a political big house grounded on the ideals of good governance, rule of law, a working economy, and one that is ready to take the governance of the country to a greater height of economic prosperity. We urge our countrymen and women, the youth, the old farmers and businessmen, the employed and the non-employed, to join the party and together we support our party leader, His Excellency Msalia Mdavadi, to build an economy that works for all under the party's clarion call, Uchumi Bora Pesa Mfukoni. As the Nakuru branch, we wish to thank the party leader for the deliberate and bold move he took in appointing the youthful Mr. Simoni Kamau Kikuru as the party's secretary general. This is a clear indication that the party has a place for the youth and that it recognizes and believes the youth have a role to play in the political dispensation of this country. Equally, the appointing of Gekuru from Moranga County as the party's secretary general goes a long way in recognizing the importance of regional balance and diversity and the running of the party affairs and also rubber stamping the fact that ANC is a national party that draws its leadership from across the country. In particular, we wish to categorically state that the Mount Kenya region now has a place in the party even as we head to the 2022 general election. The people of Nakuru, majority who trace their identity from central Kenya and other parts of the country can now have a party to identify and associate themselves with. ANC, under the leadership of Musali Mdavadi, welcomes all to be part of a successful and working economy story. Pamoja tu jenge uchumi bora na tuwe na pesa mfukoni. I, as the son of the late Honorable Mark Mwedaga, and my Kikuyu community, we are making it clear to Mr. Raila Amolo Dinga and Mr. William Ruto that all members of the Kikuyu tribe will rally behind Musali Mdavadi because it's one. We want to assure the people of Nakuru and Kenya that under the leadership of His Excellency Msali Mdavadi, our economic future is assured. The future of our children's children is protected. He has been tested before when he was the finance minister in the 1990s, when our economy was in the ICU and proved to be a man the country can depend on, on a, at a time of need, a time like now. Nobody should take pride in having the country of hustling. We should strive to have a country where hard work pays. The Amani National Congress Nakuru branch wishes to thank the party leader, His Excellency Msali Mdavadi, for visiting the county for the second time in a period of less, uh, less than two months. The visit is a clear demonstration that the party leader is so mindful of the people of Nakuru County and how much dear we are to him. We also, in a big way, thank the people of Nakuru for the warm reception accorded to a party leader during his current and past visits of the county. You have clearly demonstrated that we are ready for the Musaliam Devadi presidency. I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to welcome our party leader to Nakuru, as well as endorse our new SG, Mr. Simon Kaguru, and tell him that we, the young people, we are going to rally behind him to ensure that our party is youthful. Yes. We all know that uh, the economy of this country, the stability of any nation, depends on the youthful uh, community. And we all know that uh, the, the time our young people need to invest in both the economy and the education system is below the age of 45. And we have seen this not happening in this country because we have an unstable economy. 
So when we say that we have a bad economy, it means that we have bad leadership that has not incorporated the young people in their structures to ensure that uh, they are having a structure that recognizes that there is need to have money in our, in our, young, our, our young population's pockets. And therefore, as we, the way Mweshmiwa Musalia Mudavadi is always saying, I believe that Uchumibora will only grow if we have a gospel of the young people having money in their pockets, rallying their businesses in a very safe and secure environment, as well as having a good structure for education. We know that there are people who are going around talking about Hasla Nation, which has not come up with a very clear structure on how that, national, that Hasla Nation is going to put resources in the pockets of our young people. We want to see a structured a uh, uh, system that will indicate that how is it going to draw money in the pockets of the young people, but not just having a gospel on the streets on how Hasla Nation is building movements of the young people who are rallying behind it. We are not a young people that are not are supposed to be motivated with handouts. We are a young people who understand system. We are a young people who understand governance, and therefore we need to see every manifesto. I don't know, apart from the ANC party, that I've seen the good manifesto that is recognizing the young people. I haven't seen any other manifesto from our competitors that is really indicating how they are going to ensure that our young people are given an opportunity in government to come. So we are not just after 2022, we are after forming the government. What is it in for the young people? And that has been well seen in the appointment of our new SG. So, Because if you have the new SG, it means our party values the young people. And we are hoping that even the manifesto that is being developed that we have today, we have seen a lot of captures that are recognizing the strengths of the young people educationally, health-wise health and economically. I want to tell our young people in this country that without a stable economy, we will not have a stable health system, we will not have a stable education. For real, we really needed a leader like him. Tumetamani sana kuwa na kiongozi kama yeye. Hivi ni kusema, kabila zote, kabila zote ya rubaini na nne nchini Kenya, wako nyuma yake. Si kiongozi ambaye ana ukabila, hana ubaguzi, na tumeona hii slogan ya amani. Ndiyo tunaitaji. Kwa sasa, tumepitia vitu vingi katika Kenya yetu. Kile tunaitaji ni kutulia na tupate amani na amani ndio itatusaidia kujenga uchumi. Kama kuna migogoro, hatuwezi pata nafasi ya kuendelea. Hatuwezi pata nafasi ya biashara. Hatuwezi pata nafasi hata ya ukulima ama chochote. Kwa sababu tunaona kama kule laikipia, kuna vita, watu wanahama, elimu inaathiriwa, kila kitu inaathiriwa. Lakini tukipata kiongozi ambaye anadumisha amani hii uchumi ambayo tunalia kila siku kwamba imekuwa ime, ime duni pesa hakuna itapatikana kupitia tu kwa amani na hii nikipiga darubini sioni amani mahali pengine isipokuwa kwa msalia kwa hivyo ninawasihi mje nyuma yetu twende kwa hii safari pamoja hata sasa kina mama ni kama tunaona mwanga tumechoka mizigo yote iko juu yetu tumechoka kwa nikilia kwa niaba ya wamama unakuta kwamba sisi ndio tunaathirika zaidi mafuta imeongezeka mafuta ikiongezeka chakula pia imeongezeka na ukumbuke kwamba wale watoto uko nao ni hawa hao tu uchumi kiaribika hawezi pungua kwa hivyo inakuwa ni mzigo kwetu tuangalie mahali ambapo tutapata amani uchumi ifufuke Angalao nyuso zetu zingare tena.